Hello guys and welcome back to another Bitcoin market update. Like always, make sure to watch the entire video. Today, we're going to be looking at the Bitcoin chart over on the monthly, weekly and daily timeframes. Now, yesterday I made a video talking about how this is likely extremely close to the bear market lows because this is, so to speak, very unusual price action. We're using the Bollinger Bands, where the orange line is a 20 moving average. Then we have our blue lines, which uh, these are just two standard deviations from the mean, which is the orange line. So basically, when the price of Bitcoin goes above our upper blue line, this is considered to be overbought and abnormal. And in the same way, when price action makes contact or goes below the bottom Bollinger Bands, this is also considered to be abnormal and oversold. But basically, guys, this does not mean that we cannot go lower. In fact, I expect Bitcoin to retest the $17,000 area um, again. But anyways, so basically, guys, once price action goes below our 20 moving average, we tend to see the price move back towards it, right? In this case, uh, the price was actually able to rally above it and make contact with the upper Bollinger Band. So basically, if we were to get the same scenario here, where the price action at least comes back up to the 20 moving average, um, guys, that would be an insane rally for Bitcoin moving back above uh, $40,000, that being uh, $41,400. In addition, we have the RSI, which as you guys can see, this is historically oversold on the monthly. I don't think Bitcoin has ever traded this low on the monthly RSI. And this is how oftentimes uh, we should trade just buy at support, sell at resistance. But basically, guys, that is the point of this video. I believe we are about to see a significant bounce, of course, towards the upside, in which case uh, two potential scenarios come in, right? Um, we could bounce towards the 20 moving average to then continue moving lower, uh, try to put in a, a double bottom, or we could just rally above it and continue moving higher. Now, let's go ahead and move down to the weekly chart. Let's go ahead and pull it up. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the RSI and check it out, guys. So over on the weekly, not only is price action really far away from our 20 moving average. But we're also pretty much making a lot of contact with the bottom Bollinger Band. And we are below the 200 weekly moving average, guys. I mean, this is just how we should trade, right? Sell up here by close or below the 200 weekly moving average. So this is another reason why I believe we could see a bounce as well with bitcoin rallying back above our 200 weekly moving average to make contact with the 20 moving average over on the weekly which would be thirty-four thousand five hundred dollars, right and in this case once again we could either pull back down uh to try to putting a double bottom like bitcoin has done uh many times before now, let's go ahead and go down to our daily chart. And here, I'm going to show you why Bitcoin could likely retest the $17,000 level if we cannot move higher in the immediate short term. So, here we have Bitcoin making contact with the 200 we, uh, daily. This is actually the daily uh, moving average. It was rejected so price action continued moving lower um, once again guys price action is just really far away from our purple line and i believe we could see price action move up towards it sometime soon especially when we look at the bollinger bands on the daily so as you guys can see here 
usually we have price uh, deviating uh, quite aggressively from the mean or the average. And then we have a bounce, like I said, towards the 20 moving average, if not the upper Bollinger Band. Usually the market wants to retest those previous lows. Therefore, we had this small double bottom here with a higher high. We try to move higher once again. Uh, and this is how we basically get these double bottoms. So check it out, guys. Right here, we had a strong deviation. Price action moves towards the 20 moving average. So basically, over on the daily, what I'm seeing is that there's a chance that Bitcoin is able to put in a double bottom here by retesting $17,700. Then we move up to the upper Bollinger Band, which is around $24,000, right? And that would be, again, a, a small pump. If we take a measurement from the $20,000 level up to $24,000, that would be around a 20% pump and a conservative one because I also believe we could move upwards to around $28,000, which is just under this area of consolidation. And uh, like I said, that is being conservative. I think we could also get a rally towards the uh, 200 daily moving average as it begins to curve downwards. So yes, guys, uh, Bitcoin is at $19,400. There's a lot of fear in the market, fears of recession and whatnot. But technically, I believe we're due for a bounce, especially, let me go ahead and remove all the drawings. If we go down to the four hour time frame, right? So you guys can see Bitcoin has not been able to rally above our purple line, which is the 200 uh, moving average over on the four hour time frame, right? Bitcoin has not been able to rally above this line uh, since the time where it was trading at like $48,000. So this is extreme price action, guys. Just like when we had this extreme leg to the downside, uh, we had a correction to the upside. So that's what I'm basically saying. In case that we have not hit the bear market lows, there's a good chance that we are going to get a correction to the upside because this is now considered to be a downtrend. Um, but that is basically it. I'm going to try to keep this video as short as possible. Now, like always, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing so you can remain up to date. And make sure to check all the links in the description below this video, especially our Telegram community, which you can join for free in case that you have any questions about Bitcoin or any other altcoins. You can just join right now and send me a private message. And I'll see you guys in the next video.